Hi everybody, um, it's Steph here and today ladies and gentlemen I'm going to show you another beautiful pen from my collection and what we have here ladies and gentlemen is an absolutely beautiful beautiful Conway Stewart 226 made in England fountain pen. Now the 226 models came in uh, a couple of different variants. It was launched in the region between 1933 and 1946. Um, this particular one I believe to be what they term as the late model. Now when I say it's the late model, uh, the earlier models I believe had a flat top to the top here. Um, on this particular one, um, I believe this one is circa um, in the region of 1943. Now, well, first of all, what you can see, um, the beautiful colour of this particular pen. Now, the 226s actually came in numerous, as I say, different sort of um, designs, if you like, and obviously different colours. Now, at this particular area of the 226, they came in a, in a green... Uh, and a black marble with uh, black veins uh, they also came as a cherry and black marble with with black veins um, one of the colors that came as well at the particular time was what they termed as a reverse cracked cracked ice uh, they even brought out this particular model um, in in the cracked ice um, pattern um, they also brought one out in this just a standard black in a nice chased, chased black colour. Um, this particular one, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely beautiful, beautiful colour. Um, believe it or not, um, it actually looks nicer in real life than I think you can actually see it on the video. Now this particular one is, it's actually a, a sky blue colour and a, a, and a slate, a slate blue colour. And it has these, well, some, it does actually have these black black veins and black gold, uh, sorry, black marbling. Now, I believe the colour for this one is actually, they termed it as a blue rock, blue rock face. So it's a very unusual colour. As I say, it's, it's what they term as a blue rock face. And, well, absolutely stunning, ladies and gentlemen. It, it looks actually better in real life. Uh, that it does on the video but as I say this particular one is the late late model it comes with this um, what they term as a peak top you can see it's got this slight conical top to it um, the also the, the, the way of actually telling that it's a late model the the clip this Conway Stewart clip has got the diamond what they term as a diamond clip um, the lever if we can show you the lever here I'm hoping you can see that that's also got the diamond uh, the diamond sort of, uh, shield, if you like, to the lever, the Conway Stewart. Um, and another thing that you'll notice, ladies and gentlemen, on this particular model, there's no uh, there's no cap bands to to the cap. But all in all, ladies and gentlemen, in, it's in absolutely absolutely superb condition. It came to me in quite a sorry state. It was dirty. Uh, the cap to the top there was actually olive coloured. It was all discoloured. Uh, the clip was in a bad in a bad way, really badly bent. Um, and what we've actually done is simply, well, not simply, but we've restored the full pen. We've put a new a new sack inside the pen. We've cleaned the the lever bar inside when it came out. It was very very dirty. We soaked it, etc. And that's actually now gone back in, and it looks like a new new lever bar inside. So. Let's take the the cap off. The cap screws as it should, nice and tightly. So let's just give you a view there of the the cap and the pen together. Um, as you'll notice to the top there, it's got the standard um, Conway Stewart black black section, and the nib to this one, ladies and gentlemen, is well basically it's the correct nib it's I'm, I'm hoping you can actually see that let's let's give you a close up and try and keep it still um it's a conway stewart 14 karat gold nib um but what you can't actually see um is down to the bottom under inside the section there to the bottom of the nib it actually has 5a um which as i say is actually the correct nib um for this particular pen so 
Um, it's the original nib and as you can see it's all been nicely, you can see the section there um, it's been cleaned, it's in absolutely superb condition an absolutely beautiful beautiful example okay so I'm hoping you can see see the nib there and I'm hoping it's all nice and clear for you so so there we have it ladies and gentlemen this absolutely superb and absolutely beautiful beautiful Conway Stewart 226 okay so you you people out there yes yes but right with it Stefan okay then let's uh, let's write with it as I say this is the first time the pen's been used since I've put a new a new sack in it so what we do nice and simple for you people that are not aware we just simply lift the lever up um, sort of halfway to the top if you like uh, dip the nib into the ink and I'm hoping you could actually hear that a little bit of bubbling I'll only do it once because it's only for a uh, the writing sample so what we need to do is get a bit of tissue just give it a little bit of a wipe um, and what we do just keep our fingers crossed so as I say what we have here ladies and gentlemen is a Conway Stewart number 226 and I'm hoping you can actually see that but the nib to this particular one is writing in well nice and simply a fine line as you can see I can't see any variance in the nib so there's there's not there's not flexibility although saying that I'm not actually um, putting any pressure on the nib I'm just literally letting the nib um, write on its own accord in well there's absolutely no pressure being put on this particular nib so as you can see writes with a lovely lovely fine line so for you people that like the fine line this would be an ideal pen for you people okay so there you have it I write an example a lovely writer writes in a beautiful fine line no skipping etc actually a lovely pen to write with so there we have it ladies and gentlemen <coughs> um, as I say this is my beautiful um, Conway Stewart 226 in this beautiful pattern which they term as a blue rock face pattern which is a blue um, and a slate coloured marble um, this particular pen as I say circa 1943 it's been fully restored, it's got the correct uh, Conway Stewart 14 karat 5A nib um, and I'm hoping you can actually see this on the camera ladies and gentlemen in what superb and beautiful condition this particular pen is an absolutely beauty let's see if we can just give you a little bit of a close up on the on the colour we'll just give it a little bit of a twirl actually one thing I'm not actually showing you while I'm showing you pen I don't know if you can actually see it but it's got quite a clear uh, barrel in print um, I'm, I'm looking over the camera so I'm hoping you can actually see that ladies and gentlemen uh, what it does it reads um, Conway Stewart okay and then underneath it's got the model number 226 incidentally on this particular one just to the end of the barrel sort of across the barrel there it's got made in England although saying that the made in England although it's still legible it's a little bit on the worn side although the imprint here um, is nice and legible as I say I'm hoping you can actually see that ladies and gentlemen I'll just give it a little bit of a twirl okay so there we have it ladies and gentlemen an absolutely beautiful beautiful Conway Stewart 226 in this beautiful blue marble blue rock face pattern and I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I've enjoyed owning it ladies and gentlemen but don't forget there's plenty more videos on my YouTube channel so don't be shy go and have a look leave some comments and uh, just for now ladies and gentlemen until next time I'll just say bye now